Joining us now is Daniel Haji, the attorney handling Kwame Kilpatrick's restitution. Mr. Haji, thank you so much for joining us this evening. Thank you for having me. Let's start with that restitution. As part of this parole deal, I know he's going to have to make regularly scheduled payments on the more than $800,000 in restitution he owes. Do we know yet how much those payments will be and how often he's going to have to make them? Well, that's going to be set by the parole board, and it's going to be conditioned on his uh, income, obviously, and his uh, need and uh, uh, what he needs to raise his family, and uh, they're going to take all that into perspective and his, his, all his other income, and uh, they'll set a uh, payment plan for him. We don't know what that is at this point because obviously he has no income at this point. Let's talk about when we can expect some income. We believe we've heard that, that he's interested in doing some public speaking, and then, of course, there is the book deal, the book to be released next week. Um, those the income sources you know of at this point, or do you have anything else that you know about? Well, uh, he certainly uh, is uh, looking forward to... Uh, uh, achieving some sort of uh, income f derived from the book uh, as well as from public speaking and uh, other engagements that he may have lined up at this point. You have always said, or your client has always said, that he is very serious about paying back the restitution. So I want to ask you why the appeal of Judge Groner's decision to set up an escrow account with the proceeds from the books that would be mandated then to go to the restitution. Why fight that if he's serious about paying it back? Well, that, that the restitution, he's always wanted to pay restitution. There's no question about that. In fact, one, if you recall, when Judge Groner sent him to prison, he made that as a condition of his parole. The parole board will have to do the same. That restitution doesn't go away and he intends on paying restitution and this isn't uh, entire restitution uh, but the challenge here is the First Amendment freedom of speech and this is this is a the, the statute where the prosecutors are bringing this action under is content-based speech restriction which the United States Supreme Court and a unanimous decision has said these type of statutes are, are unconstitutional. You cannot restrict speech in this way. Mr. Kilpatrick wants to pay restitution, but not using this statute. This is a, a similar statute that New York, if you recall, is a Son of Sam law statute. And many states have enacted similar statutes, and they've all been struck down. One other now, question I, I want to ask you, if I can, real quickly. We were just looking at pictures a second ago of the former mayor getting into an Escalade. I know by talking to you that you were instrumental in, in kind of um, putting together the transportation for this morning. We were inundated with Facebook messages about people questioning perhaps the appropriateness of an Escalade with a man who said he's trying to change his lifestyle. Your thoughts on that? Well, I mean, uh, I, I made all these arrangements. Well, the, the transportation, going to Jackson, where we're going, where we're headed next. Um, I mean, it's just an Escalade. He doesn't own the vehicle. I don't own the vehicle. Uh, I just made that arrangement, and uh, I don't think it uh, has any role here. All right. Daniel Haji, an attorney for Kwame Kilpatrick, thank you so much for taking the time to join us thank this evening. Thank you for having me.